Yeah, well, first of all, great because I mean it's uh, it's been a long off season and it's uh, great to finally get things uh, um, started. Uh, no, I, f- I mean I feel good. I mean the thing is uh, we had a, a game plan on how to improve the team, and I think uh, we addressed that. That we talked about it in the, uh, in the end of the season and um, about how can we improve the team and make the spine of the team a lot stronger. And I think we've done that. I think we still uh, are not finished. Uh, but I think if you look at uh, the midfield depth that we've added with with quality, with leadership, with athleticism, and our back line right now, and the depth we have with some veteran guys that have played at a very high level and some good young uh, guys that are ready to, to contribute. So there's very good depth and, and quality there. And uh, so I think we're still not finished, but I feel very happy where we are right now. Well, I mean, obviously, when you look on top, we have uh, Jack as uh, one experience forward that we have. So we need to 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 add also some some depth there, quality depth that can help us. Because in a long season, I know that we have uh, Romario, who's obviously he, he's a young player that it's going to need some time to to adapt uh, to the league, uh, and also Jackson. So we're we're thin there, and that's an area now that uh, you know that that was in our plans, obviously, to to uh, to add quality depth. Yeah, we have. A, I mean, like like always, we have not more than one guy because you never know uh, what happens uh, in situations. So uh, we have a couple of targets, and uh, you know, if one doesn't work out, you have to move to the next one. But you know, the guys that we identify would be we feel very happy adding anyone, uh, the two or three guys that we have uh, identified in that spot. Well, they're all Plan A's, but uh, I mean, obviously, yeah, he was one of. Uh, uh, the guy we wanted, uh, and I think it, it wasn't something that uh, the club did. I think it was a more than a family choice for him. Right. He's doing stuff inside as far as just uh, running and strengthening stuff. I would uh, would say probably that uh, the second phase in Mexico, he'll, he'll be ready to join uh, the team uh, uh, full out. We'll see the first game. I, I think it's it's it might be a little bit difficult, but. Uh, I think he'll be available. I think to uh, whether he starts or to be a guy off the bench to give us uh, time. Uh, uh, I, w- I think that's the one thing we have to monitor to see from uh, from that standpoint, from a fitness standpoint. Yeah, I mean, I think you have to l- learn from uh, from every season and move on and try to uh, uh, to get better and address uh, those situations. But you know, I look at every team. If you don't make the playoffs, I think it's a bad season. But I think there were still a lot of positives. You know, I think for us winning the Canadian Cup and being in the quarterfinals, I think it's a, it, it was something and a lot to build on. So uh, we looked at that season. We looked at how we can get better as a, as a team, as a, also as individuals, what we did. And I think we've addressed some of those needs with the team. And uh, now it's about uh, getting to work. And it's a new beginning, so there's a lot of optimism. But I think with the, with the changes we made, but I think now it's it's also very important how quickly the new players can integrate within the squad because it's not about one the pieces that we brought in. It's about making the the whole team stronger.